So remember, we, we modified the file slightly uh, in Visual Studio, and we've got our uh, shop three dot private sales ready to deploy, and I've changed the replica so that we'll only deploy on two clouds. So how are we gonna do this? Let's make sure that we're connected to our Kubernetes cluster. And one of the things you'll notice is that the cluster is pretty small because we created the starter cluster on cast. We've only got two uh, nodes running. One is run, and they're both running on AWS. One is a master node and one is a worker node. Now, obviously we're gonna wanna extend the cluster to Google uh, as part of this demo. But first I wanna just deploy this app even without extending it so that we can see some failure and then watch as things resolve. So let's go ahead and apply that uh, boutique file. Cool, so here's, here's the YAML file that we have on the left. I'm gonna apply it to our cluster and we're gonna start to see all of these services create. So this application is quite nice because it's made up of multiple microservices. We've got an email service, a checkout service, our front end obviously, a payment service, a catalog service and so forth. So a lot of services have to come together to render even a single page on this demo app. So if we go back to our browser for a second and we go back to our Kubernetes dashboard and we click on workloads and let's just move to the default namespace. You'll see that our, our pods are deploying, but some of them are failing. So what's the issue here? Well, remember, we've got a really, really small cluster. So if you mouse over some of these errors, you'll see that we don't have sufficient CPUs in order to fulfill all of the requests for these pods that we're deploying. Well, we should fix that. So normally, CAST has an autoscaler mode that will automatically detect when you're short on compute resources and add those. Um, but what we're, we're gonna do this manually for the, for, for the purpose of, of this exercise. So just to show you how we do that, we're gonna go to the CAST console and we're gonna go to nodes. And you'll see that we have one medium, size worker node and one medium master node. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add one more worker to the cluster and uh, we're going to put it on Google. So that's gonna allow us to demonstrate that this isn't just a cluster with one cloud, but actually a cluster with multiple clouds or two clouds. So here we're gonna choose the smallest possible shape that we have and we're gonna create a node of one. Again, we're doing this manually for the purpose of demonstration so that we can see how these errors result. Let's go ahead and submit. And this is just gonna take a minute uh, while that node gets created in the cloud, gets added to the cluster. So we'll see you back here in just a couple minutes as, uh, as this operation finishes.